Hello, hello. Today is the day. I am Male Bungo Baini and welcome back to my vlog Sandra Stain. And if you are new to this channel, please make sure you like and hit the subscribe button. I have finally decided to take a mini vlog of uh, my day in court and I'll be showing you guys what to expect inside the court exactly because of the legalities i'm not allowed to take inside the court room so yeah my uber driver came to pick me up in the morning and there i am walking to the office because i got off at like a nearby um street just so i can take this video <laughs> so i'm walking to the office as you can see and yay i've arrived and there i am and that's my outfit for the day i just like this romeo and juliet shirt because then i don't have to wear a beep well you might have a question why we wear black and white it's basically to show respect to the jury this those are the court colors imagine what hi guys so i've arrived at the office and today is the day the court day that we've always been waiting for so i'll be attending a a divorce matter as you can see i took this video a week ago when i attended a pre-trial conference so i decided let me just add it to this one as you can see i have different hairstyles here sorry i'm drinking lots of water because i'm kind of nervous and i don't know what to expect but but i'm prepared for anything so the time right now is quarter past eight and I'm supposed to get there around Okay, my plan is to arrive at around 8.30 That's so I can be able to like uh, see the entire process and everything Check the court roll and so forth right? wearing pumps so I have to like change yeah it's just like a 15 minutes drive so I'm not late so before I leave I have to make sure I packed my diary and a pen those two are very important yeah. Ooh, the nerves i'm looking for my phone and yet i'm taking a video with the same phone that i'm looking for <laughs> it's insane No, as it pleases the court, it's when the court is now ordering. Yeah. Yes, when you are during the process yeah. eh? and when you you are done. Mm -hmm. And then when really you start, yeah. it's an opening. May the court please. Uh, may the court please your worship. Yes. It's Miss Moreno of Atenis. I confirm my appearance on behalf of the plaintiff. Eh? Um, here for a pre-trial conference, uh, the defendants' attorneys are not uh, present. However, we have agreed that um, 
uh, your worship should um, uh, certify the matter trial ready or in the meantime we'll try and reach settlement there are minutes <laughs> the minutes are filed i get the minutes are filed and yeah yeah and then you oh. wait for the court's judgment <laughs> what the court is going to say whatever they say as the court pleases the court date and everything you derives and try and take your bags yeah. that's it i'm going I requested an Uber and it's waiting for me across the road. The purpose of my vlogs are also to encourage you to continue to apply for articles even though you don't have your own vehicle and your own aka driver's license. It is not necessary according to me because as you can see I used Uber my entire clerkship and I have never encountered any problems. And I sometimes do use taxes when I go to like Navy courts and the requirement of having your own vehicle and or driver's license as well as some law firms going further to require the candidate to be able to speak Afrikaans is according to me an unfair discrimination based on language and some can even argue further to say it is indirect discrimination on the basis of race. Section 6 of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa recognizes 11 official languages and it deals specifically with the protection and advancement of the official languages. It states that all official languages must enjoy equitable treatment and parity of esteem. The language requirement is therefore inconsistent with the Constitution and the Bill of Rights as language is one of the grounds in the Bill of Rights. And the driver's license and motor vehicle issue, we just have to be realistic. I mean, how many previously disadvantaged groups can say they own a motor vehicle and a driver's license immediately after graduation? Well, that's a topic for another day to be researched. We were just having a hot topic with my uber driver um he was mainly sharing a person's idea that he has and he required me to sign an n-o-d <laughs> Do you really believe things are cheaper on Black Friday? And there we are, we arrived at the court. Um, 
I'm just gonna get off by the gate and then meet my client and I'm gonna prep him before we go in here I'm working with my client just having a mini conversation letting him know that um, the director is not going to appear today I'm going to be the one moving the case and as usual first thing first when you get here there is a queue a very long queue you're supposed to wait on the line whether you're a legal rep or not a legal rep you queue on the same line and um, wait to get in the court starts at exactly nine o'clock so you must be there before nine o'clock just to make sure you get in on time so for first time candidate attorneys i'd advise them to like arrive maybe 30 minutes before um and then you get in and then you just go to the court register let them know that it is your first appearance you'd like to introduce yourself in chambers and they'll take you to the chambers to introduce yourself they just don't embarrass yourself in front of your client or you can introduce yourself in an open court just apologize for not introducing yourself properly in chambers and then make sure you know where your case is going to be heard the exact court room or you can check by the registers role whether your case is indeed enrolled for that um, particular day because sometimes we do make mistakes they normally post the role on the door of the court's clerk or registrar's office. And you also have to check with your opponents a day before the trial whether they are going to come or not. So that if they are going to come then you also speak to them uh, before the trial starts. <laughs> so the court is done and my client was just so grateful so happy and you know what we are happy when clients are happy so it's also so awesome. we are done we are out here at the Maria magistrate court everything is done everything is sorted degree of divorce granted so i'm just cheating oh no i'm cheating to the office anyway so what happened is if it's a divorce matter then you have to ask them certain questions relating to they have to confirm their names they have to confirm whether they know the defendant whether they when was the marriage whether they have children what was the reason for divorce and if they signed the settlement agreement whether they those are their signatures and whether they understand the content of the document and then yeah if the court is satisfied then they will grant the divorce <laughs>